Yo guys, Master Markov here, and welcome back to another episode of Always, Sometimes, M -m -m Monsters. So, I don't know if I want to go back and try and see if I can continue as well from, you know, what I did yesterday. And, oh good lord, the VIP room, isn't that like open now in the actual place? Uh, I don't think I want to go in there, if I can at least help it. But, you know, er... I mean, I guess I technically kind of want to, but not in, not in that way. <laughs> so we got to go over to the auto repair shop. Now, I don't know whether or not there's going to be, there probably is a separate story actually going to think about it. Or, wait, full stamina. I don't know, full stamina, that's pretty good. Uh, what I didn't realize, Beaten City, um... Yep. Her balance is dollars Please use one of the following options. Withdraw. Listen, I just need some walking money. So I'm just gonna take 200 out. And I wanna see what happens if I like. Please take 200 from my door. New balance, cash walk, 350. I'm not sure if I could like use this every day. Honestly, even if I could, I don't know if I. I mean, I could go back and do it. I could literally go back and like do it before night time yesterday and then do it again today. But I don't think I want to. Hey, so what happens if I go in here? Is there actually an event that goes on here? It's like I was wondering that, and I see, I see the guy is like here. Defeat Vladimir Kotov and get out of my face. Who is Vladimir though? Is it you? Is it you? He doesn't look like it's any of those guys. I guess not. Dissing. Come on, Sam. No, I'll get you the money eventually. Oh, good lord. How much money is this gonna be? I swear. That's not the point, Preacher. The car is not leaving the shop. I'll pay back in full. Maybe next time, that more than you could afford to lose. I know. I learned my lesson. And you'll be right there just waiting for me when I slip it up again, too. You don't get tired of propping off of the spawns. Possibly. I haven't had too much of a break to ponder it, though. Yeah, I'll cut you a deal since we're old friends and all. You want this car out of here so bad? How about we take one final bet for all the marbles? Ex uh, 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 excuse me? I just finished construction on the track out back. I've been meaning to give it a good test run. One lap, fast across the line, walks away with a victor. You win, it gets cleared, and you get the keys back. Come on, Stan, I ain't falling for it again. You made a promise to God. <laughs> well, we wouldn't want to upset the big spooky almighty now, would we? Sounds like Mark's having a bit of trouble. Well, first we're gonna do is check literally everything besides him first, like all the trash cans and the walls and all up here and whatever car this is. I wonder what this thing's top speed is. Yep, see, you know, I wonder that too. But I also, you know what else I wonder? I wonder, um, can I like go out back? Can I just straight up go out back? Oh, I can. Ooh, I can. Is there anything I could do out here? I just want to be sure there isn't, like, you know, straight up. Oh, good lord. It's just, wait, the racetrack. Let me, let me go on there. I mean, I don't know if there's anything here. I doubt it, but I'm going to circle. Oh, God, this might take literally, literally forever. This may actually take forever. Oh, lord, am I going to have to race around this? Okay, this looks a lot harder than all the other sections that I've had to do so far. Here I win. The heck am I gonna do all that? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I guess it can't be too bad. <sighs> all right. Arkansas. How are things going? Who's little friend, preacher? Don't tell me you're turning this sweet young thing into a nun. 
Oh, good lord, it's none of your business. Come on. Jeez. This right here is May. She's the reason I need the car back. But why didn't you say so? Heck, if you're not willing to bet on your ride, might as well extend the offer to May here. So what do you say? Ever wanted to own a hot rod before? Still technically got the right to do whatever I like with Peach's car. Which one is that exactly? Well, it's obviously a shittery of the two. Nothing beats my car. Go on, let's see how well you can guess. I don't know which car... I don't know which car is his. The... Wait, do I get to choose? Um... It's gonna be like, nope. <laughs> Good eye. That's my car. That's actually... The other one, obviously, is his. Since I see Mark and Saws, uh, well, I want to ride in the blue one because I like the blue one better. But I think Mark and Saws would be a red car kind of guy. Is it the blue one? Wrong. <laughs> Reaching out for something exquisite as the Indigo Demon. Nope. This is a far shittier Crimson Savior. Of course it would be. Wait, unless it's going to be like the Indigo Savior, another one would be a Crimson Demon. Like serving a sharp turn with that thing. Surviving a sharp turn? That's what it's still one hell of a machine. Normally I wouldn't risk losing so much leverage. But I like the way you look. I'm willing to gamble, then I'm game. What are the terms? One lap around my newly completed racetrack, fastest time wins. Provided you don't wipe out and wreck yourself, that is. You win, you get the keys to the preacher's car. I win. What do I want? If I win, you gotta work for free out back in the scrapyard for the next three months. <laughs> Don't think you'd run away from it either. Can't extend always collects on debts owed. I should run. Oh, that'd be hilarious. I wanna see what would happen. Three months. It's insane. How am I supposed to live making no money? No, don't worry about that. I'll throw you a loaf of bread or two every... What? A loaf of bread or two every week so you wouldn't want you starving? Besides, I'm sure the good preacher will help look after you, right? It's not like he's going anywhere soon, either. No, don't worry. I play fair in all my bets. Yeah, that's preacher man. He'll tell you. I'm no cheat. I'll give you as much time as you want to make sure the car's in good order, work in order before we drive. Heck, I'll even let you work in my shop if you need to. Homie rule. I won't break on though, so once you say you're ready to go, there's no turning back. You gotta leave, have some principles, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. this can't possibly end well. Mark, what do you think? It's dangerous. Not only is Stan a crafty bastard, but he's one hell of a driver. As that may be, it's our only way out of town. There's no bus service. What? There's no bus service to San Bernardino. Dang it. Oh man. There's no bus service to San Bernardino. And I don't know where we can get another car. Man, we don't have a choice, do we? We always have a choice, baby girl. Unfortunately, the alternative is giving up on San Bernardino. I'll help you no matter what you decide to do. But this is a decision you have to make on your own. So, what is it gonna be? Risk it all? Risk it all! I gotta risk it all. I'm not willing to risk it all myself, but what have I been doing this whole time? Alright, Stan, we got a deal. Play your little game. Well then, let's take on the call day. Get a little hungry, can use some lunch. Heh, <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of fun. See you two later, don't try anything funny while I'm gone. Remember, God's watching. Wrong game! You know, I'm not afraid of us losing. Why's that? I see it's so clear now. This is the test of our faith. We're gonna be just fine, baby girl. We got God on our side. Well, ain't that a relief. Well, let's go take a look at this old beast and see how she's doing. It's been a while since I've checked on the hood of old Crimson Savior. <laughs> oh, I'm checking too. Well, actually, I mean I'm not. Okay. Alright. That... I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like it even a little bit. But we're gonna, we're gonna hope, and you know, we're gonna pray that this won't be too bad. All right, let's see how it's doing. I wonder what this thing's top speed is. Did we? Are we not checking? I guess I. 
Oh, my bad. Sorry. I guess I'm saving. Just how's it looking? I think we actually got a chance to win? Camilla will run just fine, but... Stan's truck... Stan's track is a bit of a doozy. I kind of looked at it. It seemed to have a lot of wildlife on it, more than anything. I reckon it's got the top speed high enough to clear the jump, but she doesn't do corners so well. You should find some time to take a look at the course when you get a chance. Odds are we can probably do a few upgrades on cheap. You gotta know what we need. I think there's enough excitement for today, though. What do you say grabbing some lunch at Bigger Barn? This is one I want you to meet, so how about I see you there in a couple of minutes? Sounds good to me. What do we I'm sure if he's walking to San Bernardo, I guess. I mean, what upgrades does it need? I know whatever. Wait, wait. You wouldn't be thinking of champing my car there, would you? Wouldn't be too fair now, would it? Why don't you catch up with Preacher, huh? Wouldn't want you doing anything unscrupulous while he's away, would we? I'm just literally looking. Hey, what did I tell you about touching my car? We're just waiting for you. Why don't you get lost? I'm literally just looking at your car, man. Hey, you know what? Don't let the preacher's holier than that attitude fool you. He ain't gonna be no divine intervention when we hit the track. Yeah, right. I got saves on my side. Saves. That wasn't too bad. So what if I go here now? Oh lord. Okay, if I go to the back. Wait, 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 wait. See, here's the thing. I think I'm gonna get caught more than likely. Oh my god. Wait. No? Okay. Okay. So that, oh that's amazing, I can steal the tip still, even though it's a horrible, horrible idea to do. Manager's office, locked it tight, no really. So then, I can get the indie figure from here. What about the, wait, the other one was where? Oh, right, it was in the VIP. I guess for now, I will just leave the, this place, and I'll just, I don't know, I'll save it here. I don't see any reason why I would need to be, like, in the morning for any reason, and why I can't just come back at any time. Um, and I think about it, Bacon Barn. Where the heck is Bacon Barn? Down here? Lord, I ain't even bother to look like any of these places. Be like actual events and stuff going on that I have no idea. Slick salty pond, Jesus Christ. You know, here's the thing: we don't even need that money, like that that much. I want to see if there's new stuff. Well, there is. I think all yarn with no real purpose. Can you collect them all? No. See the world blocks. And also, let's just do any less malcontent with the push of a button. Bro, we walk talking. Communicate with friends from a far reaching distance by the city block. You know, I kind of like this stuff. But the question is, like, what does any of it actually do? Literally, what does any of it do? I could gamble, but, like, that's probably a bad idea for this game. And. At least it's bacon bar, it's not chicken. Can I get that second burger with no pickle? Second burger, huh? Did you order for me already? Wouldn't dream of it. This one's for Carla. Little thing can't stand pickles. I think it's Carla. Oh, I didn't mention to that. She's my girlfriend. Love my life. Why don't you order yourself something to come sit down? She'll be here any minute, baby girl. Um, I guess. Should I actually order something? What would I like to order? I mean, a bacon donut. Not really a donut, but more like a slice of bacon with a hole. <laughs> what? 
a barnstormer, storm your senses with this ham slice wrapped in bacon with a side of pork rinds. Should I just get a bacon burger topped with bacon and dressed in bacon sauce? Girl, we shouldn't be skipping out meals, not too healthy. You need to take half of mine. You know, it's not fancy, but boy, do I love some bacon. But good lord, I could know, I could have just not ordered quick service, you know. He <laughs> can keep you waiting on your food. Yeah, I guess so. I also like how it's literally just split. Speaking of waiting around here forever, what the heck is that woman? It's just like I'll leave you hanging on a date while your meal goes cold. She probably tied up before the end. What little she tells me, I gather her boss rides pretty shard. By the way, oh no, 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 Carla. But I feel like I remember the name. Why do I feel like I remember the name? And why do I feel like it's bad that I remember the name? By the way, when were you going to mention you had a girlfriend? Oh, I didn't think I was that big of an issue. We hadn't been dating too long, but I gotta say the connection is definitely there. Such a good and honest girl, but her got a really good heart and a real pure soul. Yeah, a stripper with a heart of bronze. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm speaking a little prematurely, but I think she might be the one. I'm getting all giddy about her. It's really sweet. Ha, I can't help it. When you get that feeling, the feeling gets you. Sometimes we're just sure about certain people. Know what I mean, big girl? That gut instinct says you're meant to be together. Ooh, I, I mean, I gotta say it's often right. Right? Because, you know, you gotta say it for... Do it for her. I guess it's often, more often that feeling turns out to be right. In my opinion, good things happen when you follow your heart. Well, I'm happier than ever, than I've ever been in a long time, anyhow. Um, cause got a lot to do with that, I think. Speak of the devil. Carla. Carla. La 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 That was the person we literally paid for the last time. What would have happened if I went there and it was the same person? Oh lord, what would have happened? I'm sorry I'm late, babe. It's been killer so far today. I'm already dead tired. No problem at all, sugar. I want you to meet my friend. Carla, this is May. May, Carla. Pleasure to meet you, May. How are you enjoying Salt City so far? Mark mentioned you were from Dubstown. Yeah, this place is different. It's okay. I don't know. It's pretty nice. I like it a lot. I like the city got a bit of everything. The search going to the north seems pretty crazy though. Ah, it's nothing but dim light and drunken idiots. And nothing good came from wasting your time there. Just think of those poor girls debasing themselves for money like that. It breaks my heart. You can imagine how embarrassing it must be living that sort of double life. Right. I hear ya. Sure. What if I went there and then came here? Then what would have happened? Wait, she's not the girl at the front, right? She's just a random girl that just goes in there. Enough of that for now, though. How about we eat some? I gotta know. I gots to know. Oh, I gots to know. Oh, I gots to know. Now I gotta replay it. Now I gotta replay and see. Who been up to today? Well, we just got back from Stan's shop. Looks like I'll be getting the keys back for long. You're not gambling again, are you? You know that never ends well when you're betting with that creep. No, I'm not betting against him, May. Er, May is. Oh, Lord. I don't see how that's any better. May, don't tell me you really agree to this. I'm afraid so. I already shook hands and everything. It's just a little race around Stan's track. It's the worst that could happen. wrecking in a smoldering bowl of fire sound. Mark, there's no way you're going to tell me that car's ready for a race. I think 
thought you said you were good for this gold and top notch vehicle. Well, she is. It's just Crim Saber might need a few little upgrades before she's in peak condition. What kind of upgrades are we talking about? Keep in mind, we don't have a ton of money or time at this point. Well, I figure we're gonna need some new ties for the starters. Oh, good lord. Stan Strack isn't exactly prime pick. He isn't exactly Grand Prix material. <laughs> you can say that again. What I mean is... <coughs> it wouldn't do us any favors losing a wheel or two since I'm rogue trap. Or a chicken. Alright, where can I get those? Well, there's a tire thing right there. Mm, on a budget, we're gonna have to come second hand. You know, I bet we could still convince Darren over the big boxing club to give you a seat. They give you a set. A set? Use them for training as fighters, really? The membership's gonna be a little low these days, so we'll have extra to spare. Okay, I'll talk to Darren about his tires then. Just be sure you're ready to break a sweat. Darren doesn't let anyone leave his club in a dry shirt. I mean, I walked in and left a few times now. In fact, I did today. What else is on the list? <laughs> what isn't on the list? Well, the gear shift has a tendency to stick, unfortunately. There's nothing worse than being on a straightaway getting caught in a low gear. It shouldn't be too hard to fix if we find some industrial cleaner and give it a good rinse. The only problem is the stuff we need is really strong, but the counter stuff won't cut in, I'm afraid. And where can we get that, then? Arkansas. Find someone who deals with these sort of chemicals regularly. This fellow James, I think his name is. Things out near the closed down super gas, just north of the trailer park. Trouble kid, but he knows chemistry, that's for sure. <sighs> You're not talking about that skid row weirdo, are you? You know what he does for a living, don't you? Never pay that any mind. It's not our place to judge. Some people ain't got the luxury of choosing their path in life. No sense looking down on them for it. Hey, whatever you two want. I'm gonna have to out her. I know I am. I know I am. But it just feels bad that I am. <laughs> it feels bad that I am. Now I gather he's a bit of a paranoid sort, so be prepared for the sort of mistrust. Alright, I'll see about paying him a visit. Is that everything then? Well, from saving never been too good at corners. Dan's course has got a curve sharper than a jagged tin can. Unless we upgrade the suspension, we might not handle it. Could wind up completely wiping out. New suspension? How the heck are we gonna afford that? Well, you're right. That ain't, they ain't cheap. Thankfully, though, Stan's not the only gearhead in town. Huh? And who's that? Number one of the folks at the trailer bar. Old guy named Grafton. Listen to the blue trailer all by himself. He spends way too much time on the campfire. Back in his prime, he was something of a premier mechanic or so, I've heard. Honestly, I don't know much more than that. But if anyone can get what we need, it's him. I actually know who you're talking about. I'm on the way into town. Oh, well, I guess this will be a piece of cake then. See? The plan's coming together like a real good thing. The way I see it, we'll have the keys back within a week. Wait, a week? I'm trying to get these back within a day. Alright, let me just write all this down so I can keep it straight. <sighs> Now it's gonna take some time to get everything down to the dilly dally on that. I know you're not interested in staying here too long. Right, we gotta get on move on eventually. Speaking of getting move on, I'm due back at the church. Carla, you be good. May, I guess come find me at the church tomorrow and we gotta start on that list. You be good, darling. You too, sweetheart. I'm gonna find her in a not good, no no situation. And it's gonna be bad. Well, I'm about finished with my food. Why don't you see me sit outside a minute before I get to go back to work? Sure, either way. I suppose. 
was really nice getting to meet you, May. Yeah, you too. Mark talks a lot about you. I think you mean a lot to him. I know I've gathered that. It's kind of weird because of the times with me you treasured, so I was too young to remember. But right now it feels like I'm really meeting him for the first time. To let you in on a little secret, it feels about the same for him too. He knew you as a baby, but he's getting to know you as a real person. I'm surprised you two are getting along as well as so you are considering that. Well, he's done a lot for me so far. I mean, without him I might not make it Sam Bernardo in time. He mentioned that we we're on a strict timeline. Just don't want you punishing, pushing him around or taking advantage of his generosity, alright? I wouldn't dream of it. I know, you seem perfectly gracious. It's just that I'm really starting to get worried about this race. I know Mark's got faith in you and all, and his old car and everything, but it seems all too risky. I mean, what if someone gets hurt? What if someone gets killed? You really think that could happen? I don't know. Maybe. The real question should be, is it worth the risk of finding out? Listen, I did all those courses where I'm the motorcycle cop. I think I got this. What other option do we have, though? I already shook on it. I don't think there's any other way out of the city. You got some brilliant plan. By all means, let me know. Well, I had one idea, but I know Mark wouldn't like it. What are you talking about? Well, Stan's always had a bit of a thing for me. It's always making con. No, 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 no. No, this is a horrible idea. No, no, ah, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Of course I always brush him off, but he's convinced I harbor some secret desire for him. If I were to go into the shop and strap him for a while, do you think he can take care of his car? Oh, thank god. You mean mess with the engine or something? I mean cut the brakes. No. Stan fixed the engine with no trouble. It'll just delay the inevitable. Cutting the brakes on the other hand, I might not notice until it's too late. You can't be serious, can you? I mean, what if he gets hurt or something? So what if he does? You'll get what you want. Mark will get his car back. And I'll have... Oh, this is messed up. And I'll have one less weirdo stalking me. So the pros outweigh the cons on this one, Nate. I guess you're right, but I don't know. I can't think on this one for a bit. I'm kind of hoping to keep my conscience guilt-free for a little while. Mark would be pretty disappointed to hear how low he stooped. Even if it was for the greater good. This is not for the greater good. Well, luckily, I don't give a damn about Stan. So I'm ready whenever you are. Let's come find me when I'm ready to do it. We can go from there. I'll be hanging around Mark's trailer in the mornings before I head off to work in the afternoons. Come see me then. Alright, I'll remember that. Well, I guess I better get going. Great time's over. It's good talking to you, May. Yeah, you too. Oh, that's not good. This is all of the not good, and it's nighttime now. So the question is, do I do exactly what I'm planning on doing? I mean, obviously I'm gonna go like right here, and I'm gonna save here. Even though I spent the five bucks, I don't think I need the five bucks super badly. And I'm gonna go with, I don't know, I guess I'll see if I need the, anything. So what does she work at? Cause it's not the convenience store. Does she, she doesn't work at the pawn shop, and she went up. So unless she works at Krusty Cream, which she doesn't, well then where does she work? And what even is this? This is the bus station, right? Hmm. Man, so what if I was to go and go all the way up here, and you know exactly where I'm going after this. Oh boy. Where am I gonna find you? Oh, wait, who is this? Oh, this is the shop guy. Good lord. She loves me, I know she does. No, get out of here. Well, hey there, darling. Shows out here pretty good. Have you ever seen what goes on in the VIP room? handle the sexiness of it all. All you need to do is get a VIP over from the bar, take a pic of the girl from inside. 
I'll go see if it can get in, come back later then. Ooh. From the bar? Wait, what? You? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like, how do I get to What are you talking about? Oh! Oh, this is a- Oh! What you having tonight? Get a few rooms open now if you want to buy a ticket. Oh my god. I actually can. I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. But I gotta see if Carl is in there. Well, hey there, darling. Friends behind the door just saying they're waiting for someone looking like you. Wanna meet? Really, really friendly if you know what I mean. I got a VIP ticket, actually. Well, you ready to go inside? Already got the ticket. Let's go in. Okay, so you pick the girls. Oh God, no way they call me Sherry because it's always better with me on top. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, I don't know. Can't make up my mind. For one, I just want the figure. Let me get the figure. Which figure? Where, where, which one would even was it in? Is this this one? Okay. Oh, right. Well, I mean, I guess it's none of these people, so I can't house them. Jezebel, it's nice to meet you. One here, naughty secret about Jezebel. You talking third person? Take me private, and I'll tell you. Oh, good lord. I don't know. Blossom. Sorry, I'm so new to this. You know I only let one person back here at a time? Just gonna have one all to myself. Um, I could just, like, not. Here's the thing. I don't even know what you've gotten yourself into, lovely. I'm divine. That's also my name. I've never died and gone to heaven. Because that's where I want to take you. Um, alright. I don't think so. What if I just walk out, though? <laughs> I can leave! I actually can't leave! Okay, listen. I'm gonna stay. I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to go back to St. Bob 5 and just load it up. I don't know if I necessarily want to go there and get anything. Like, get the thing. Because, you know, mm, you can buy them. That's the thing, you can buy them for five bucks, and it costs 20 to get in there. So I'm not necessarily sure if I want to do that. What can I do at the moment, though? All right, you have tires in here. But there are also tires, like, over there and on the track and, like, a bunch of different places. There's got to be something I can do now, though, right? It was off too late for a dealing today. Got a date coming up soon. Come see you in the morning, I'll get you square. Okay. I actually forgot everything that I'm supposed to get, though. I really did. Alright. What do I need? Um, upgrades. For some... <coughs> okay, I need Darren from Big Boxing Club. Clean Swatch from James the Old Gas Station. And... Suspension Grafton at the Trailer Park. Okay. I suppose I can't really do any of those things now, per se. So, I guess I'll have to go later? In the day? You know, this is weird. This is actually, I think, the first city that I could get all of the indie figures in without missing any of them. Uh, as far as stamina goes. You. Howdy. Um, can I ask you? Howdy. Yeah. No, I wanted to get some... You know what? Never mind. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. I guess we're going to end the day then. Yo guys, Master Mark out here, and welcome back to another episode of Always Sometimes Monsters. I decided that I did want to actually show what in the world it would be for all the other options if I decided to go stick with my other save and see what happens. Where'd you get off to anyway? I was hoping to see you off at the church, but I guess I missed you. I'm exploring town a little. Didn't know you were expecting me. Just want to see if this town has to offer all, you know? 
know I hear you loud and clear. Where'd you end up if you don't mind me asking? I you got in pretty late considering you were here when I got home. I got a job. Got some good work, got myself a little job for the day. Didn't make much money, but the work experience was great. I'm glad to hear you found some stuff to do at least. Most people around here don't bother doing much at all, save for wasting time at the strip club. And all we gotta do is just go out here, and what if we go back again? I don't know if we can go in the morning necessarily, but we might be able to, like, I mean, I could go check. Could go check if we could just go in the morning. Because I think we might be able to go back here. So what happens if I do? And I know that that's actually a, a freaking bar. Okay, and anything else? Say, you know, the whole event thing that you were talking about going on? God dang, the money's gone. Yeah. I don't really think I could turn back on that now. Oh well. So I guess I kind of can't do that now, I suppose. So I'm going to just go to the mechanics, run through everything, and then, you know, come back afterwards, basically. Alright, let's try again, see if there's anything actually new here. Um, alright, uh... Doesn't seem like anything's new here, and doesn't seem like there's anything new... Here. Oh man, you know what? I think, like, literally, you can't actually do anything else. And I just go to the vacant bar and talk, and it wouldn't really matter. The question is, I wonder what any of these things do. So I'm just gonna probably include this in the last episode, since I uh, just wanted to see what it is. Broken Taser. Buy it. Walk talk. <coughs> Buy it. Items. Bullets. Wait, where's the stuff? Okay, broken walk talkie. It's broken. Wow! Th thank you. It's broken. Wait, what? Both these are broken. How do I fix them, though? Eh, well, I guess there's no real point in saving here. <sighs> Let's go to sleep and write another page. You can read the journal page. Well, it looks like this is my bed for tonight. And I think we're gonna end this episode here as well. Oh, she's in our house. That's weird. Well, if you like this video, like and subscribe down below. We'll see you next time. More Always Sometimes Monsters. Peace!